Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing two try-ons. So I'm gonna try on both of the Bite Holiday sets. I think they have one more set which I didn't get, but these are the two like main ones that everybody... This one is the one that everybody looks forward to every year. It's called the Perfect Bite. And the next one is the Amuse, Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip Set, which is new, relatively new. Um, cause I barely knew that they had liquid lipsticks. It's feeling like fall in Houston and it's finally 75 degrees instead of 95 degrees. So I have my flannel on, okay? It doesn't take much to impress us here when it comes to autumn temperatures, okay? <laughs> so I'm ready for these holiday sets. The first set I'm trying on is the Perfect Bite. They come out with this every year and it's definitely a hit. This one comes with the colors Honeycomb, Sugarcane, Rhubarb, and Cayenne. All right, the first color I'm gonna start with is Honeycomb, which I've tried before and I already love. Like, I really, really like this color. It's a perfect nude for me um, and for my skin tone. So let's try it on. There it is. It kind of looks it kind of looks the same as before. This is a beautiful like pinky beige nude on my skin and it's really hard for my skin tone to find these kind of nudes and I kept like debating if I should buy the full size of this or not. Um, but I guess now that I have the mini I don't need the full size. Okay, the next color I am trying is called Sugarcane and um, this I would also consider a nude but it's definitely a lot more pink. Like it's definitely a very pinky nude. Let's see how this looks. I'm surprisingly impressed with this color. Um, this is as close to like a bubblegum pink as I can get. And I know it's not bubblegum pink, like it's very muted. So that's the only reason I can pull it off. Um, so if you're in like my similar skin tone or you have the same issue with like bubblegum, like type of hot colors. Okay, the next color I'm trying on is rhubarb. I love this color. I've tried it on before. It's the perfect like everyday kind of muted but still dark color for like fall and winter time. Um, so I'm really excited for this one. I don't mind the super uneven application, but this is, I can already tell you, it's my favorite out of this whole set. It is just such a unique, like muted purple. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And it's obviously all these colors are gonna look different on different people with different skin tones and different undertones, but holy crap, I love this color. I love it. It's my favorite out of the whole set. Okay, the next color I'm going to try is one of their most popular, so you probably already know. It's called Cayenne, um, and it's a very hot red. I think it's more orange leaning. So let's try this one on. Okay, apologies for the super messy application, but I actually really like this color. Um, I don't think I need any more reds. I mean, like, how many of us really need more reds? Um, I've been trying to wear more red, especially because it's getting close to the holidays. I, I think it's a gorgeous color. I don't know if, um, I, I would never buy the full size separately. Like I said, I have way too many reds, but I'm glad it's part of this set. I think the set, this set has, these sets always have really good variety. So that's what's good about them. Um, I do love the Sephora favorites, like nude sets and the bold sets, but I do like that you can get just one set and get their great formula and get like four different. Sometimes the minis bother me because I would rather buy just one big one that I'm going to use, but I realize I never end up finishing any of the big lipsticks I have. Plus, I like every single color in here, which doesn't always happen. So I'm feeling the set for sure. It's a thumbs up from me. The next set I'm going to try on is the Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip Set. This set comes with the colors Whip, Braised, Flambe, and Demi Gloss. The first liquefied Amuse Bouche lipstick I'm gonna try on is called Whip. This is their nude from this set. I wonder how pigmented these are, especially because I've been trying on so many lipsticks that my lips are a little bit darker now. My first thought is that these don't smell very good. They kind of smell like that old lipsticky smell. I don't know if something's wrong with mine, but it doesn't smell very good. It is very liquidy feeling on the lips, which kind of worries me because although the Amuse Bouche lipsticks, the regular ones are very creamy, they are still pretty thick, so they don't slide around as much. Um, this I can already feel like would be going out of my lip lines pretty quickly. I like the color, but it's so similar to Honeycomb and the formulas. I mean, sure, they're different, but not different enough for me. I think I like the original better so far. So let's try on some more and see how those are. This was the color Whip. The next color I'm going to try is Demi Gloss. 
Y'all know me and the grays, man, I'm not down. <laughs> Now I know what this smells like. It's like a sad attempt at mint because it feels kind of minty like on the lips. It also smells like a nasty mint. I, I don't like the smell. I'm not a fan of the formula. It doesn't seem or feel as pigmented as the regular lipsticks. This one is Demi Gloss. It's a pretty color. Again, it's not my kind of color. The undertones don't suit me. I just don't like it very much. Um, it's just like the Ciate lipstick that I tried in my nude lip video where everybody else was like hey just put on some more bronzer and I did eventually and I did like it but this is even like darker than that so I'm not feeling it. The next one I'm trying on is Flambe which is a red. We'll see how similar it is to Cayenne. This reminds me a lot of Cayenne. It does look more orange in the viewfinder and a little bit more orange in person, but um, I definitely like Cayenne better. I'm not really a huge fan of the shiny colors like this. So I, I don't know. I Like I said, I'm just not feeling this set as much. Not that it's not, it's not bad. It is pigmented, but it does take a little bit extra. Like I think that when I want something that's creamy, I will use a regular lipstick. If I want something that, um, is like long lasting and liquefied. I'd rather just use a regular liquid lipstick. But if I wanted to like stay kind of semi matte, like I would use like a ColourPop satin lip or something. It's really, so I'm just not really impressed with these. Um, they're not bad, but they're just like nothing special to me. Right. The last color I am trying on is Brazed. This is kind of a darker red. Pardon the messy application, but that's also one reason why I'm not really feeling these. They're not that easy to apply. The applicator is one of those like straight applicators instead of like the little doe foot. So it's a little bit harder to apply, but I'm just not feeling the formula. I don't like how slippery they are, even though they don't seem like super slippery. It's just like not what I'm really looking for. So overall, do I think this set is worth it? I would say no. Um, the colors are not as unique and are not as pretty as this set. Um, and also with this set, you get a cute tin and everything, which it like shouldn't be that make or break type of thing, but just while we're at it, you know, this just comes in a little, um, this just comes in a little cardboard box. This one comes in an actual tin with a mirror, which I think is cool. And, um, I like the formula of these better. I do like the colors a lot better. I think this is definitely a hit for me. Probably one of my favorite Perfect Bite sets that I've ever gotten, and I've gotten them the past few years, and this I think is my favorite so far. This I'm not impressed with. Um, I don't really recommend it, but if you're that into trying this formula, maybe it's worth a try. Um, if you really want to try this formula, you're, you might be better off just trying um, a bunch of them in the store and just getting one full size that you really like. Yeah, overall, my recommendation is to go for this one and not this one. Um, but let me know which ones you guys go for if you do decide to buy one of these. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the sets, which one you like the best, which colors you like the best, and if you plan on getting them too. Um, please subscribe if you have not already done so. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any video requests in the comments and just let me know what you think.